Are you a biologist learning to code? Or perhaps you are a computer programmer who wants to find a challenging problem to solve, perhaps in bioinformatics. If you answered yes to either question, then this video is for you because I'm going to show you a learning resource that will allow you to apply your coding capabilities to solve problems in bioinformatics. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. Okay, so the learning resource that I'm talking about is called Rosalind. So Rosalind is a platform for learning bioinformatics and programming by solving problems. So on this Rosalind platform, you will see that there are a total of five key areas comprising of Python Village, Bioinformatics Stronghold, Bioinformatics Armory, Bioinformatics Textbook Track, and Algorithmic Heights. So if you're new to programming, then you want to check out the Python Village. If you have some coding abilities, then you want to check out Bioinformatics Stronghold because it will allow you to solve problems in bioinformatics. In Bioinformatics Armory, you'll be using ready-to-use software tools, which is a bit different than the Bioinformatics Stronghold, which you will be using computer programming to solve. The Bioinformatics textbook track will be comprised of exercises that accompanies the book Bioinformatics Algorithm. And and the algorithmic heights will be a collection of exercises in the algorithms book. So let's check out the first one, Python Village. And so you're going to see that it's comprised of six problems. And the first problem will take you to installing Python. And then after you download Python, installing it, then you can follow the instructions in here. Let's check out the other ones. Okay. So this problem will give you the following statements. So if you have two integers that are positive, A and B, and that each are less than a thousand, then they want you to return the integer corresponding to the square of the hypotenuse of the right triangle whose leg have lengths A and B. And so they're giving you some notes here. So what you want to do is for the given sample data of three and five, which is your integers A and B, they want you to compute to have a output of 34. Okay, so you have to figure out how can you reach the answer of 34. Okay, so this is for the second problem and you could check out the other one as well. And so let's have a look at the bioinformatics stronghold. So you're going to see here that there are several exercises for you to play around with. And so let's check out the first one, counting DNA nucleotides. So for this one, you are given a string of DNA nucleotides. And then what they want you to do is they want you to count the number of A, which is corresponding to adenine, which is a nucleotide, and C, cytosine, G, guanine, T, thymine. And so for each of these four nucleotides, they want want you to output 20, 12, 17, and 21. Like for example, they want you to count how many A are there, right? And so you'll end up with the answer of 20. How many C are there? And then you end up with the number of 12. How many G, how many T, right? And so you have to figure out how to do this using either R or Python. And so given this input data and this sample output, you have to figure out what is going in between that. So how can you go from the input to the output? And so you could register and then log in. So upon successful submission of your solution, and if you are correct, you will be given badges. Like here, you will see that there are about 60% of all attempts were correct. And it was solved by 44,000 people. And if you click on it, then you'll see the list of the 44,000 people who solved this. Right, and then you see the experience points of each of the user. And so the second problem solved by 39,000 people. 85% could solve this problem. Okay, so check out all of these exercises and they are a great way to test your coding abilities and also for those of you who are already proficient in coding to test your problem solving in a new area, which is bioinformatics. So for either biologist or computer programmer, this website will be of benefit to you because you'll be able to learn how to apply coding in solving bioinformatics problem. And so if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet done so, hit on the notification bell in order to be notified of the next 
next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. But in the meantime, please check out these videos.